bone chest plate. Oh, I haven't got any bones yet. Can be harvested from the undead. Oh. So I wonder after we kill after we kill the zombies, are we supposed to harvest them to get bones? Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Incur Survival. Okay, I've been playing off camera. I'm really enjoying this game. Got some resources gathered up, and today we're going to get some stuff done. We are going to craft the workbench. We're going to put a couple of farm plots out, and we're going to craft the map. And we are also going to craft the bow. I think I've got enough resources for all of that. As you can see, I've done a little rearranging or redesigning our base here. Put some windows in so we can... Uh, see what's going on outside I have a bed now I got enough wool to uh, to make this bed so I can sleep through the night that's a huge thing I recommend this is one of the first things you do is or you want to do is get wool and make this bed you have to get four pieces of wool I believe for the bed yeah four pieces of wool uh, the sheep obviously you kill sheep for that sometimes you get one piece of wool from a sheep sometimes you get two uh, I will show you how to do that. I, I'm probably going to make just a quick video on how to take down the sheep. Uh, I made a early spear, wood spear. Uh, you only need two pieces of rope and some planks to make one of these wooden spears. So pretty simple to make. I actually took some down with just the starting stone axe. Took a couple of the sheep down. But they're, uh, uh, it takes a little patience to chase them down. Uh, let me show you what I've done here. I, I've put some stairs in. I've got the hatch up here. You can open that up. We can get up on top and uh, check out our scenery. I have uh, chopped all the trees down on our little starting area here. Uh, the stone, I had to wander over here. You need to find boulders to get flint. I have created a pickaxe right here. And again, you have to track or you have to find uh, boulders to get flint and for flint you need to, you need flint to craft several different things actually so let's go back downstairs and the developer is actually going to put another ladder in here this this doesn't work great so he's building or the next update I think he's gonna have an actual ladder that just goes up to this hatch but it's it's serviceable for now all right let's get in our in our tool our storage box uh, another thing I created, that was pretty simple to craft, actually. It was, um, let's see, storage and just some just some six planks. Really simple to craft. So let's access that. I need to get my leather because I'm going to need that to craft some things. I need my wool. I need my rope. And here's the flint that we need that for arrows. I'm just going to drag all... Oh, we need our planters and our vegetables... There we go. Now these, I've looted some of these off of the zombies I killed. Some some of it I found just wandering around in the world. You can you can get those. So let's go ahead and drag this. We'll do the planters first. And again, I've been saving all this stuff to show you guys on camera what it looks like. Uh, I think the resources, resources spawn back pretty fast, so I should get some trees back fairly quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and put our planters down here by the water. I believe, uh, I'm not sure how, how we water these yet, actually. Are we, well, there is a, I take that back, I think I do know. There is a, where's it at? Here we go. A leather bottle, craft that, fill it up with water. That's probably how we do our, that's probably how we do our, uh, our planters. Let's go, there's a shark. Uh, there is fishing in the game. Um, I'm hoping once we craft the workbench, it has a fishing pole in it. I'm not sure. I've tried wandering out and killing fish with my spear. Haven't had any luck. Uh, I'm not ready to take on the sharks yet, though. Uh, I want some armor before I do all that. So let's go down here to our planters. There we go. Now we should be able to put them close to the water. If I can find a semi-level spot here. And I only noticed, I mean, I saw this on the the video on the developer's page. He's also made this where you can put them, they kind of run together. Like that. Uh, let's see, we can go on this side, I think. There we go. 
and this one's not great. Now for our for our seeds, let's see. Let's put wheat down here. There we go. And then we got some we got some beetroot. It's like four of those, and we got some carrots. Oh, did I? Eat? Oh no, did I eat the carrot? Oh, I did. Darn it! I meant to. Uh, I meant to plant that carrot. All right, we'll go. We'll go for some more wheat, I guess. Guess I wasn't close enough. Yeah, I wasn't close enough. All right, that's fine. Uh, that's actually one of our next. Our next quest is to craft the the map. Let's go ahead and do that. Right there. And there's our map. Okay, this map's pretty big. It looks like uh, I did wonder. I did wonder over there. Uh, I saw some mountain lines. I haven't went up in the mountains yet, but um, we'll get it over there. One of these episodes, we will get over there. I want to get some armor probably before I take on those those mountain lines, and uh, definitely wanted to have our bow. All right, so that's our map. All right, it got dark on us in a hurry and raining, so I also want to show you I installed some torch holders. Those are really cool. I'm gonna take this map out of my hot bar. Yeah, so we got torch holders to have light in our base. Those look really nice, and uh, you have to craft the torch holder right here and then you also have to craft a torch to put in it and those can be turned on and off so that's really nice all right see the next thing we want to do is let's do the workbench I'm super excited about this workbench because I want to see what we can craft with it right here that takes uh, two leather and the, the rope is the biggest thing the biggest challenge to me is finding the rope so, alright, what are we going to, or find enough plants for the rope, excuse me. Alright, so to rotate, we're going to go R, and let's just set our workbench right here. Beautiful. Now let's see what we can make with it. Work, okay, this is our storage, workbench, recipes. Alright, cool. Oh, we got a furnace. That's cool. An iron bucket for watering our, our plants, I guess. A standing torch, nice. Oh, we gotta have iron for that, okay. Alright, a better axe, better pickaxe, a shovel. Not sure what we need a shovel for. Ooh, an iron spear, nice, okay. An iron door, an iron fence, okay, and then we have, uh, this is all iron foundations. That would take a lot of iron. Bone chest plate. Oh, I haven't got any bones yet. Can be harvested from the undead. Oh. So, I wonder after we kill... After we kill the zombies, are we supposed to harvest them to get bones? Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. Alright, we got a reinforced window. Okay, so this is cool. This is all... It takes leather. So this is all... From harvesting the undead. Okay. Iron helmet. Yeah, this is pretty solid protection. 30 armor. Iron leggings and iron boots. Okay, so we got armor. We've got base pieces. And we've got better tools. Now, what do I need for the furnace? 25 stone. Logs and rope. Okay. Alright, I'm going to see how much stone I have over here. I don't think I have that much. Oh, I've got 28 stone. And I've got some logs. Oh, also, uh, I asked the developer about splitting. I didn't realize this split was down here. So, yeah. There is split in the game, and I just totally missed it. Alright, let me see. What else do we need? We need... Four logs, stone, oh, and five rope. Darn it, I don't have the rope. Um, yeah, I only have one rope. Okay. 
So I can't craft that yet. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave this stone in here. Looks like we have to have the items in here to craft. Yeah, let's look at recipes. Yeah, they got to be setting in the, in the storage, which makes sense. Alright, so now all I need is... I need five rope. I have to gather a lot of plants for that. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to leave those in there. I'll work on, again, I'll work on that some off-camera. Uh, let's see if we can craft the bow. Oh, I need two rope. Alright, I need one more... I need one more plant. Yeah. Alright, let me put my leather back in here. And... I'm gonna need the flint. I'm gonna put the wheat back in here. And the wool. Let's see, we need to eat. Cooked meat. There we go. And then I'm gonna save. Quick save is F5. And then we're gonna sleep through the night. Maybe it'll stop raining in the morning. This is great. Sleep through the night. Skip time. There we go. And he hit uh, E or X to dismount. Looks like the rain's gonna stop. It's 6 04 in the morning. And we'll have the sun coming up any time now. Let's go ahead and quick save. And this is what I like about this hatch still. You can go up here, see if the area is clear of zombies before we go out there. Uh, there's one there. Only one. Nice sunrise. Now I'm going to go down and see if our plants get any water from that rain. Not sure this is the first time I planted those. So it looks like we only have one zombie over there. And our trees have not respawned yet. Alright, so we need to find some... Uh, we need to find some plants... All right, let's see here. What does it say? Water is 93.7%. Okay. And it's slowly growing. 5.3 out of 100. This is 8.2 out of 100. So it looks like that rain does give it water, which is awesome. So I don't know how we're supposed to fish, honestly, because I was... There's, see, there's a fish right there. But I can't, you can't go underwater with the spear. So I don't know how to fish. There's sharks over there. I'm not going to go over there. So how do you, how do you catch the fish? Do you just grab them with your hands? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, shark. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to take on any sharks right now. Uh, one thing, if you... If you build the spear, don't throw it at a bird because they will fly off. Alright, let's see if our zombie is still hanging around or he may be gone now. I see a melon over there. Grab it. For food. Now, chickens are easy to kill with the spear. Like so. Uh oh, my spear just broke. You can actually kill a chicken with the with the axe, though. All right, let me replace my spear here with my new one. There we go. All right, I was going to get this melon. We get fur. We get feathers for our arrows from the birds, of course. Alright, I gotta find some, uh, I gotta find some plant, the, the leaves, that's the thing I have trouble finding, this, uh, 
those bush leaves. I have trouble finding those. I don't think we, we can't get any of those from trees. I want to craft this bow and show that to you guys. Another chicken. Those are important because we get we get feathers and we get meat. All right, let's go over here and see if we can find some some leaves. Once I craft my bow, let's see how many. How many? Uh, I need. Oh, I just need one more rope. Okay. So I just need one more. One more plant. We can make our bow. We'll go over here, and I want to. I'll, sh I'll show you a boulder. Hey, there's a carrot right there. Cool. I'll make sure and plant that correctly this time. That should be our plant we need right here. Bush leaves. That's what it's called. Yeah, I need to make a rope. There we go. Do I have what I need to make this bow? I do. And arrows. Ah, I need sticks. Okay. We got. We can make ten. Uh, well, I'll see how many feathers I've got. I've got four on me. Uh, we I did watch some video. You can get your arrows back. Thank you developer for doing that As you guys know, that's a huge deal to me. We're gonna move all this stuff down. and We're gonna put our bow down here Now we just need some arrows and I need uh, I need sticks for those is that right? Yeah, take some sticks All right, I got a backup axe already crafted. That gives us some sticks and some logs. All right. Now, let's uh let me see if I can find a boulder. Just to show you what those look like. They're a little closer to the mountains. I haven't found iron yet. There's one up here. And another plant. There we go. So we're going to pull out our, our pickaxe that we made. We should get flint and rock from this. There we go. We got we got three pieces of flint, some stone, and XP. So uh, if you guys build your base where I did over there, then you got to come over here to find boulders. Uh, let's go up here a little bit. We we'll probably get close enough to see the mountain lions, as close as I want to get right now. See if we can see them. There's me another boulder. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be. There's a sunflower. I can plant these, I think. Oh, let's see. Can be found in the wild and farmed in far plots. Yeah, but what do I do with them? I mean, what's the point? Is it just for decoration? Alright, let's see if we can see a mountain lion. That's going to be a whole other video. Is the mountain lions. I don't want to take any on right now until I get some armor. There's one right there. You guys see it? it? Just spawned in right there. And there's another one sitting up there. Don't scare me like that, sheep. Yeah, there's, I see one, two, 
three mountain lions, and uh, I'm sure that's where the iron's at. Also, you got to venture up there to get the good stuff and take on the mountain lions. I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. Let's pull out our map here. I see up there, kind of the top right, a little arrow. I'm moving. See it moving around. Okay. So. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I'm out of water. Shoot. Okay, I see where we're at now. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm dying for water. Oh. Okay, so that's really cool. I like the map now. Let me get some water before I die. And then I'll show you. Well, that was pretty much a fail on my part. I just totally uh, wasn't paying attention. Oh, you lose stamina. I'm gonna eat a melon. Because I don't want to die. If you have no water, you lose stamina. Alright, let's put this map away. Yeah, that was a big, big fail on my part. I was not paying attention. There we go. Alright, now let's look at the map again. Okay. I see right there our base, a little house, and our little white arrow moving around right there. Okay, very cool. Okay, so this map is pretty big. We're just one little section right there. And we got all this map right here to check out. So this is this map is big. I'm I'm impressed. Very nice. Alright, let's put that away. Um last thing I wanna do is make the make arrows. Very nice. Alright, how many arrows can I make that I got on me? Uh, let's see. Let's go plant this sunflower seed real quick also. What do I need to make plots? I need two. I don't like the way this is this is here. Can we pick these up? Oh we can. And we get to get the resources back. That's cool. Yeah, let's go this way. Ah, it's not gonna let me. I can go that way. It's a bad spot. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Let's let's uh let's move these around. I love the fact we can pick these up and move them. Thank you, developer. Just more uh it's just better. All right. So I don't know why I have to. Ha I don't have to have it over there. I'm gonna put them right here by our base. It makes more sense to me, really. Can I rotate? Yeah. I need one more just to keep it symmetrical. There we go. There we go. Alright, now let's do. Uh, make this faster. We'll go carrots, and we'll go beets, and we'll go wheat. And beets. Did I eat that? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I afraid I hate it again. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. I got some more wheat I can plant here. We can make bread. Oh, and the sunflower. Can I plant the sunflower? Yeah. I'm not sure why I need to, but... 
And then we got two extra spots there. Alright, let's make some arrows. I can make four right now. And let's try out this bow. If I can get a duck to land. There's a goat. Or sheep, rather. I just, I don't want to waste my arrows. Oh, there's a chicken. If I can get it to stop. See if we can one-shot this chicken. Nope. Well, I hit it. Now I'm just going to have to club it to death. Come here. Where are you at? Uh, if you've ever heard the term running with a chicken, like a chicken with his head cut off, that's what this one's doing. Really? There we go. Alright, give me my arrow. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, this is awesome. We can get our arrows back. Thank you, developer. I think I got everything done that I wanted to, to show you. Uh, the only thing I'm not... I'm still unclear is the fishing. How do I... How do I fish? I can't throw a spear. I can't use a spear underwater. I'm sure I can't use a bow underwater. Can you kill a fish with it? I mean, I know you can in real life. People, people bow fish, but can we do that here? Let's see if we can see a fish. No, I don't see any. All right, I'm gonna have to find. I'll ask on the Discord. How do you fish? Maybe I'm missing something. I was hoping there's gonna be a fishing pole, uh, but I don't. I don't see one. Get back in our cozy little home here. Uh, but if you look at the if you look in the campfire under recipes, and there's there's baked carp right here. So there's a way to there's a way to catch fish. I'm just not sure. Here's our bread that we make with our wheat. We get that growing. So yeah. All right. Well, I'm happy with what we got done today, guys. Uh, if you like this episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one that subscribes. Come back and see me for more episodes of In Curve Survival. And last thing I want to add, uh, remember this game is $4.99 on Steam. Uh, and that is a regular price. So, guys, this game was well worth that. I recommend you pick it up. Uh, the developer's doing a great job, but he keeps adding on to the game. So, make sure you grab it. And I think you'll enjoy it. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.